Hey everyone, David from Robots Repair here. Today we're going to be repairing the display on a Dell Chromebook 3100. What you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Zero zero or zero will work. A spudger for spudging. The replacement display. Now finding the display is a whole thing in itself. You can find a replacement display by finding a compatible model online, but I never do that. Uh, I'll get more into that later. This will only take about 15 minutes. This is a relatively easy fix. You might also need a razor blade or some pointy tweezers or an X-Acto knife. I, I didn't make a graphic for that because I'm, I'm pretty lazy. First step, open the laptop. Remove the four plastic covers to reveal the four Phillips screws holding the bezel in place. So I should mention, you should disconnect the battery while doing this. I, I didn't do that because I'm an idiot. Also, I, I know what I'm doing kind of, but mostly um, I'm an idiot. Also, this is where you might want the tweezers or the razor blade or an X-Acto knife. I was using my nice tweezers, uh, the janky ones work better. Be careful while doing this. Try not to damage the plastic covers or lose them. These things like to grow legs and walk away. Uh, I stick them onto the bezel. It's kind of hard to lose the bezel. Unclip the bottom part of the bezel that covers the hinges. Remove the four screws. And now fight with the bezel. I tried removing it with just my fingers, but my fingers obviously failed me. The bezel is glued onto the screen, so I use this metal spudger to separate it. Work your way around by pulling from the inside and rotating the bezel outwards. You can also use a plastic spudger to separate the glue, holding the bezel in place. Remove the four Phillips screws holding the LCD in place. Why haven't I turned this thing off yet? What's wrong with me? Oh, there I go. Carefully fold the screen over. It's still attached by the ribbon cable. Peel back on this annoying sticker, but be careful not to yank it as it is attached to the ribbon cable that's connected to the LCD. lift this blue thing out of the way. I, I don't know what it is. Lift the locking arm and carefully remove the connector. 
make sure you pull it straight out. It's possible to damage the connector. It's like the thinnest possible piece of metal. Grab the new screen. Now plug the cable back in carefully. Just plug it straight in. Put this blue thingy back on. I'm sure it's there for a reason. Fold the screen back over. Make sure everything aligns properly and test the screen. Then we can start putting things back together. It's the same thing, but in reverse. While past me takes care of that, let me tell you a little bit about how I find replacement screens. Before I even give a customer a quote, I will remove the screen from the laptop so I can get the access to the model number printed behind the display. Finding a replacement screen by just using the laptop's model number is a bad idea. You may find a compatible replacement or you might get something completely different. And by compatible, I just mean it'll fit in the hole where your display used to be. It may have a different resolution. It might be a different type of display. Or if the original display had touchscreen, it might not have that. The model number itself actually contains a lot of information about the display, uh, but you have to decipher it. And that's a whole other video onto itself. If anybody wants to see that video, let me know in the comments. Oh, I just saw this little bit of camped on tape. I'm sure that's on there for a reason too. Let's put it back. All right, when you're putting this bezel, start pressing down firmly until you hear it click. If it feels like it doesn't want to sit properly, lift from the inside of the bezel and press on the outside. It's kind of hard to explain. Just, just look at the thing that I do. Once the bezel's back on, we can start putting the screws in. And finish it up by putting on the plastic covers. And now you have a Chromebook with a new display. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. I am working on some other videos, so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see those. Good luck and have fun.